Hello and welcome, I am the Narrow Diamond and this is my first in what is hopefully a series of Football Manager videos featuring the Diffuge Challenge. Now what is the Diffuge Challenge some of you might be saying? Some of you might be Football Manager veterans and may already know. But if those of you that don't know, here's a challenge that is set on the SI Games forums where you holiday for a season and you take over a team that gets promoted into either the Vanarama North or the Vanarama South from one of the non-playable teams when the game starts. So this is how the season finished when I first simulated and I ended up getting Blythe Spartans. Blythe Spartans. Um, I've already done a season. This was kind of a late decision to do the video, um, mainly because I want to see the progress myself and hopefully some of you might enjoy the progress with me. Um, how did the first season go, you're wondering? That's how it went. Came ninth. Which, to be honest, I say it like that, but it wasn't bad. At one point, we were challenging for, uh, for promotion, but didn't really happen. The challenge didn't really come to fruition. And we finished ninth, respectable ninth. We predicted 12th, which I think was a bit ambitious for a newly promoted team. Um, how's it going this year? Like I say, bit of a snap this in this video, so we've played some games already. We're fifth. Fifth after 18 games. We're going good guns. We could really challenge Tamworth. Um, up top, hopefully we can, hopefully we don't slip away, um, at one point, I thought it was going to be easy, after five games, we were top of the league, then our farm dipped horrifically, and went all the way down to 15th, but we're on a good run of farm again, and we've flown back up to 5th, um, as you can see, one winning 11, wasn't great, um, the average 500-ish fans that come watching us, were mortified, um, but we're getting some wins again. At least we're not Curzon Ashton. No offence to Curzon Ashton fans, but there's only 208 of you. That's prefer. Um, but, you know, 500, 500 people come to see us on Good Farm. Um, bit of an admission here. This is the second attempt at doing this video. The first time, didn't have the microphone on. So you missed a 3-3. I was going to show you this game. 3-3. And we scored in the 122nd minute to get an equaliser. I went ballistic. You've missed that, unfortunately. Um, spoilers on the team by the way, but yeah, um, you're going to join us instead for hopefully the, the replay against Geisley on the 29th. Um, quick overview of the tactics and the squad. This is a squad we've got at the minute. Um, Owen Evans in net, um, currently non-contract, that's how he looks. If you want to stop the video and have a quick look at his stats, looks okay. Andrew Cartwright at right back, again, okay. David Laurie is one of our standout players, so let's have a quick look at him. He's got 12 for heading, 12 for marking, 11 for tackling. Great technical attributes for a centre-back. Um, good decisions at 12. Um, it's off, uh, positioning's 9, which I wish was a little better. His physicals are fantastic for this level. Picked him up this year on a free. He's getting better as well. Um, Four-star current ability. Don't know, he might be five-star potential. Could do a great job for us in a, a couple of leagues, to be honest, if we go up. Um, Kieran Charnock, um, alongside him, two-star ability. He's 33. I think we struggled last year. Um, we played two young centre-backs, and it didn't quite work out for us. So this year, hopefully, a bit of experience has done the job. Um, Dominic Roma, um, our other full-back, doesn't really like playing left-back. More of a right-back, but we've got a good right-back, so he's playing left-back for us. Stephen Turnbull doesn't usually start. I'll tell you why in a minute. But he was our player of the year last year. 70% of the votes. Doing well. Thomas Sang. Thomas Sang. What a man. Um, can't believe I managed to get him on a free. Um, far too good for this level. Um, great physicals. Uh, 12 pace. 13 acceleration. I love a pacey player. Great teamwork. Um, great tackling. Good technique. Can pass the ball all right. Good first touch for this level again. Fantastic. Three-star current ability. Four star, maybe five star potential. Um, he's been great for us, to be honest. Our bad form came when he got injured. Two weeks might not seem that bad, but we had a game every three days for about two weeks. So yeah, he missed quite a chunk, and that's where our bad form came. So he's he's massively important. Um, alongside him, we've got Michael Richardson, who's arguably our best all round player. Lots of white stats, which for me are my average stats. Um. Yeah, he's good all round. Played fantastically in the hole last year. We played a 4-2-3-1 formation. Um, so he played in the hole. Got 10 goals, 7 assists, 5 of the match man of the matches. Changed the system. He's not got as many goals this year, but there's time. Um, Alex Pattinson. 
came in on a free this year. Um, was unhappy about not getting games, so I'm giving a few games now. Um, it's doing all right. It's doing all right. It's got all right attributes again. It's more of an all round player. He's like Michael Richardson, but slightly better. Slightly better, ever so slightly. Um, up front, Christopher Sang. Now, you might have heard of Thomas Sang I mentioned before. This is his, um, what I'm calling his brother. He's not his brother. They've just got the same name. But, you know, I'm just going to be a bit crazy with it. Say the brothers. Um, striker, he's just broke into the team after being a bench player. I think he's he's good for a target man. He's got the right stats for a target man. I mean, I wish his passing was better. Um, but everything else seems good. He's Again, he's pretty fast for this level again. Good physicals. Good all-round striker, especially for 18 years old. Two and a half star current ability. Um, we're looking at three and a half to four star potential. Um, it's three goals in eight. Um, five starts, three from the bench. Got an assist in the last game as well. Which is good. Dan Maguire's our main man. Um, great finishing for this level. 12 is outstanding. 12 person in 11 acceleration. Off the ball 13. Composure 12. He's just a fantastic striker for this level. Um, he was at the club when I started. I think he may have replaced Jamie Vardy in real life at FC Halifax, but then didn't kind of work out for him, so he's gone back to Blythe. Um, his first season, which I obviously wasn't the manager, wasn't great, but then the first season I had him, one of the few players that will, was willing to remain at the club, he was top goal scorer in the league, getting 25 goals. Um, not a great average rating, but he scored some crucial goals for us. Um, not as great this year, um, but you know, there's time again, time again for him to start banging in the goals. Other players to note, Matty Hamilton. Um, he was the player that I did start up front when I started playing two up top. I'll tell you that in a minute. Um, but, yeah, he's, he joined last year, mainly from the bench because we all played one up front. Got nine goals from the bench, nine starts, 12 sub-appearances. It was pretty good. This year, even better. Seven goals in 16, uh, 12 starts, four sub-appearances. I was rating of 7.12 in the league. Playing really well. Um... Andreas Bianga is the reason that our player of the season, Stephen Turnbull, isn't starting. This guy got signing of the season and young player of the season, two and a half star current ability. Um, looking at three and a half to four star potential, he, he was great for us last year. Um, he's been great for us this year. Thomas Sang's rivals freed him up a bit. As you see, last year he only got one goal, two assists. This year, two goals, two assists, three man of the match awards in, in 15 games. He's already beaten last season's record. He's been given a bit more of a free reign. Premier League experience, really. Um, 7.35 average reign. We're missing him at the minute because he's injured. Um, so that's a bit of a loss. Um, other players, Ben Pollock, centre-back, back up. Derek Niven. Again, pause the video if you want to see these stats. Cal Nicholas. And it, Adam Bale. The Blythe Spartans, Gareth Bale. Who, for a poacher, looks pretty good. I wish he's off the ball was a bit better at six, but you know, he can't get can't have it all. Great first touch from finishing, great heading, great composure, great acceleration and pace. Um so hopefully he could be with us for a, a little bit. Um I'm hoping he can develop a bit as well. Um so let's 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 give it a continue. Oh, Christopher Sang. Christopher Sang. Three to four weeks. Adam Bale may even get a game. So you got a bit of bit of time to continue. Um, while we're taking the time to continue, you might be wondering why we, why are you still with me? I want to give you a little update of what's going to happen. I'm going to hopefully upload a couple of videos a week, um, bringing you hopefully two games a week, um, two games each video even. Um, this video is not going to be really edited. Um, it's my first my first try, so I'm not too asked about the draw for the cup. Um, yeah, it's my first first attempt really at a video. So I'm not going to really edit it. Like I say, it's more of a test to see if people are interested. If you are interested, give it a thumbs up. Give a comment down below. If you're not interested or you don't like the format or you want to see things change, then leave a comment in the box. Give me a thumbs down. I mean, it'll make me a little sad. I'm not going to lie. But give me a thumbs down. I'll try and improve it for you guys. I'll try and get things better. Um, but yeah, hopefully a couple of videos a week. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and give you two games every video. Um, if not, it'll be one game and there'll be a good reason behind it, or maybe more games, three, four games. Um, we're going to go 2D, we're going to see the goals in 3D. Um, I'm going to give commentary where I can. Um, hold with me on that. <laughs> Might not be the greatest commentating role, but I'll give it my best, you know. Give it a good go. Good old, old fashioned try. Um, 
And it, like I say, it'll be edited. So you won't have any of this waiting to be continued. It'll be straight into the game, straight into the action. Um, but there we go. As as we pick our team, Alex Bianga's back, which is, is fantastic news, to be honest. In fact, I'm going to start him. Start him for this game. I really have much options in way of backup centre-backs. That could be something we look to bring in. Um, Adam Bale's going to start on the bench. Tactics. I'm not showing you tactics yet, have I? Okay, there they are. I know I'm called the Narrow Diamond. Um, it's not quite a diamond. And I actually don't really play the Narrow Diamond that often. It was just the first name that came to me. Not going to lie. I tend to go for a 4 4 2 or a 4 2 3 1 up front. Um, didn't really work at the start of the season, so I've reverted to this. It's working quite well. Got four across the back. Um, three across the middle, one more defensive minded player with the two midfielders just up and down, up and down. Um, I do like these to be more specific roles, but we don't really have the players at the minute to do that. Played just in behind the front two. Um, so let's have a look at the lineup. We've got Owen Evans in net. We've got Dominic Roma as our f automatic fullback getting up and down. We have got an instruction um, for the look for the overlap, so hopefully they'll get forward, which will help us with our lack of width, obviously. Um, we've got Ben Pollock at centre back, not first choice centre back, um, but he's going to fill in today. We've got David Lowry, probably our best player at centre back, and we've got Andrew Cartwright at right back. We've got Andreas Bianga, uh, one of our star players in centre midfield, which is where we really excel in, in midfield, to be honest, which is why I can really play this narrow three. Um, Thomas Sang, who probably is our best player in the holding midfield role, um, Michael Richardson who can bomb up and down there, with Alex Patterson just in behind, um, Matty Hamilton, who's going to be a deep line forward, and Dan Maguire, our goal scorer, as the advance forward. Um, instructions, if you're interested, we've got exploit the middle, because we don't really have much width, normal tempo, um, we, I don't really want them to start from the back, so I've got them closing down, although in the lower leagues, that might not be as much of an issue, but, you know, that's just how I like to play. I like to play into space, because we've got some fast players, Charts passing, I was on direct because the lower league, but it wasn't really working, like I say. So part of the change up was short passing. It's worked really well. I like my players to run at defence because we've got players who can dribble and again are fast. And look for the overlap to hopefully compensate for our lack of um, pace. We're on attacking. I did start standard in a few games, but I was finding I, basically I was staying standard and I was reacting to how the game was going. It wasn't it wasn't re yielding results with things weren't happening so i've gone attacking instead um it's, it's it's really led to the turning farm really to getting us back into farm um so without further ado it's enough of me chatting let's get into the game so there you go so we'll submit that team and fitness is an issue in the lower leagues players are on non-contract deals everyone's part-time bit of a nightmare constantly juggling fitness which is why my squad's pretty big to be honest um, I like to deal with smaller squads to keep people happy, but got a pretty big team here as they're lining up very defensively away from home. This was the same formation they played at home, by the way, where it was 3-3. Three, 3-3, three. Three, three, five in midfield, one up front. Big gap here. 3-3, three, three. who knows? Who knows? Uh, I'm going to ask my assistant. Thinks we should. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Um, run a good run. Yeah, I'll go with that. We'll calmly, we'll calmly say... God, we're the favourites. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll go with that. Didn't go well. Let's uh, try and pick people up. Now, normally, when I do this, everyone's asked, apart from the strikers. So, I've got faith in you. What are the strikers going to say? Are you asked? Are you bothered? Matty Hamilton is bothered. He looks happy. That's good. The team talk went all right. Without further ado, let's get to the game. So, um, Geisley kick off. Hill out wide. Probably the known highlight that normally happens at the start of FM games. Puts it into Harris. Uh, I may have spoken too soon though. Fazic into Bailey. Looking quite... Uh, it's gone out of play. That's the non highlight. Uh, as the game ticks on. So, four minutes in. Um, not much has happened. Blythe got most of the possession, which I'd expect because we play short passing. Um, I'd expect us to return the ball. They've had the only shot as Atkinson kicks it off. Bailey, do not, at least challenge, oh, he's nothing header. Pollock nods it to Roman, nods it down to Richardson. Into Patterson, this is where we can create. Thomas Sang on the ball, great ball. Maguire, he's our goal scorer, lets it bounce, brings it down. Out wide to Roma for providing that. I like where Richardson is out, right. Get Richardson, oh, it's a, it's a good switch, though, to Roma. Puts it in, Maguire's there. He flicks it on, it's 1-0. 
It's 1-0 after 9 minutes. Goal, 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 goal. Fantastic goal. It was. It was a fantastic little move. The sharp passing's coming into play again. Let's have a look at that in 3D. So as Pattinson gets it, puts it wide to Roma. Who sees, the, who sees Maguire? He's got a lot to do it from a narrow angle. But he's flicked it over the keeper with a nice little looping header into the bottom corner. It's 1-0 Blythe. As you see, the ground is absolutely packed with 500 people. How many people have shown up, actually? How many people have shown up? I'm sure it's on this screen. Can I not see it for looking? I can't see it for looking. Well, that's embarrassing. I'll tell you at the end of the game, many people show up. We've got, a, we've got an attempt. We've got a chance. Pattinson gets the ball. Puts it wide to Cartwright. Again, the fullback's Brian the rip from this formation. Puts the ball in. Pattinson's there. It's 2 0. It's 2 0. We've had two shots on target. They've both gone in. 18 minutes gone. Pattinson with a goal. I, will, I won't lie. Guys are kind of controlled the last game. We were lucky to get the draw. Um, Cartwright comes in. Ball across, he's massively free as Pattinson breaks from midfield, and it's a great finish. Keeper's not really done anything. It's 2 0. Blink of an eye. 18 minutes gone. This first video could not be going better. I've said it now, though, haven't I? I've said it, it said it couldn't be going better, and they're probably going to beat us like 5 2 now. Um, don't get booked for nothing. Simon Bar I've got a friend called Simon Barnett. That was really odd. Anyway, 29 minutes gone. They've got a throw in deep in our half. Bailey picks it up. Puts it back. Cross comes in. Good header. Let's get, get it clear. Let's get it clear. Let's have a counter attack. As Dodds gets it. Roma dives in a bit. He gets back up. Back stick. No one's marking him. It's, it's, it's slack marking. What did I say? What did I say just two seconds ago? They're going to end up winning 5 2. They actually are. Dodds picks it up. It's a good challenge. Yeah, Tong picks it up. And he's stolen it at that post. Cartwright. Good going forward. Bit crap going back. Anyway, it's 2-1. Third minute's gone. Exciting, exciting game. Not many chances. Not many chances, but lots of goals. We've got another highlight. As Richardson picks it up in midfield, puts it out to Patterson. Maguire picks it up. Out right, Cartwright. It's, again, providing width. It's a good ball in. Hamilton. Oh, he's missed. He should have scored. He should have. He really should have. I'm not going to lie. That That's a bit of a Debbie Downer. He, he probably should have put that in. But... As, as things clock on, as the time clocks on, we reach half time. 2 1. Doing well, I'm quite happy with that. I'm, I am, I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy with your performance so far. Keep things up. Two people look delighted. I'm not too displeased with that. Again, like I say, fitness is a bit of an issue, so I'm having to make changes that I don't really want to make at half time. Oh, Christ, I don't really have a right back. Thomas Sang can play that. Do we really want to waste him? I thought, yeah, we're going to have to. Stephen Turnbull can be a ball, our ball winner. Sang at fullback. Oh, I really like Thomas Sang at fullback. Did not have to happen. We've ended up bringing two of our better players off there for fitness reasons. In fact, why have I brought. I don't want to bring Michael Richards. I meant to bring Patterson off. Patterson and Turnbull. And we'll change the system up ever so slightly. There we go, as we start the second half. Let's keep it on attacking for the first. Say the first 15 minutes or so. Get to half an hour. There things go. Sang puts it through to Hamilton. Is this a non-highlight or a highlight? Hamilton picks it up, but Cross comes in. Uh, getting me excited for nothing. Sang with the throw-in. Hamilton. Back to Sang. Cross comes in. Maguire's at the back post. Maguire, the man, he just he just made of goals. Ten goals this year. Sang out on the right. I was a bit worried at pointing him there. I shouldn't have been, as he is a creative spark. Let's see what he does. He sees not even a run. He just puts a dangerous cross in and Maguire. On hand. Oh, it's on the bounce up. And he's just levered that in. He's just levered it in. And the the 500 fans go wild in this FA Trophy replay. Sang with the throwing. Out to Hamilton. Back to Sang. Puts a cross in. Turnbull should pick that up. Playing in the deep roll. Um, Hamilton picks it up. Into Nicholas. It's saved. It comes out to comes out to Roma. And this is just an, an absolute route. 4-1. I did say it was going to be 5-2. Am I going to be right, but with the wrong wrong players, wrong team even? Hamilton picks it up, puts it into Nicholas. It's a good, yeah, it should do better, really. As Roma, our fullback, again, showing that width, getting them bombing on. It's working really well. I'm really happy with this tactic. If you're watching this video again, um, Narrow Diamond, in a, in a future episode, look back on this video and go, you know what, that change of tactic, it worked. It really did work. He didn't need wingers. He didn't need wingers at all. As they come, as um, guys have come forward now, Harris with the ball sees the run, 
Our defence are pretty high there. Smiley comes through and Smiley bangs it in. Could the 5-2 prediction be right? Could the 5-2 prediction be right? Admittedly, the wrong way around. I mean, I'd be happy if it's right the wrong way around because that means I win 5-2. As Smiley picks it up, our centre-back's out of position a bit. Keeper came out to eat. He's dived so late there. One for the cameras. I mean, I know it's half his video, but watch how late my keeper dives here. The ball's past him, and there he goes. I mean, you're never saving that, pal. You are never saving that. It's past you before you've even seen it. And it's 4-2. It's 4-2. Bloody hell. 65 minutes going. It's, it, it is. It's time. We'll go standard. We'll go standard. We'll stay unstructured for now. But we'll go standard. Do I need to make a change? Probably need to bring Larry off. If anything to save his legs. For a future game. Let's bring Larry off for Evans. Weakens our defence somewhat. But I think maybe his fitness did come into question for that goal. There's time time click, clicking on here. We'll go counter for this last seven minutes or so. so we've got the ball pretty high up still on standard at this point Rome puts the ball in and there it is it's 5-2 I, I predicted it I cannot believe I predicted that but the wrong way around Roma again the fullbacks pivotal to this formation again a deep cross comes in and Matty Hamilton he looked offside but I don't care as Hamilton puts a header in keepers nowhere to be honest and that should wrap this game up we, six minutes to go 5-2 as time clicks on, that should be it. That should, oh, one more highlight. One more highlight. One more got 6-2, maybe. Turnbull picks it up. Puts it out wide to Sang. Go on, Sang. Do your brother proud. Puts it into Hamilton. Hamilton now. Back out. Oh, it's poor pass. It's the non-highlight final fat highlight. But 5-2. You've got to credit that manager team's arc. I, I tell you what, that is the kind of wizardry you're going to see from the narrow diamond. Tactical masterstroke at half time. It wasn't really. It was a team talk. But, you know, I did predict that. Everyone seems confident. That that first video could not have gone better. I'm very happy with that. As you might be able to tell from my voice. In a future video, might even put my face down there. Might even put my face down there. Who knows? You may have noticed as well, which I'm going to point out, Matty Hamilton's hurdy. What are you thinking? What are you thinking? It's, he's shown up. He's shown up at Wigan. His club. It's photo day. His mum's gone... Make sure you get your hair cut for today. Marty Hamilton has gone, I'm on it. I am on this. Absolutely all over it. And he's gone for a bird's nest. He's got a bird's nest on the top of his head. Now, as you may see in future videos, my hair's not great. But Marty Hamilton, I mean, I love you, mate. You, you, you're banging him in for me, but sort that, sort that hair out, please. Um, so anyway, that was our first game. I, I cannot argue with that. It's 5-2 victory in the first um, video. Um, try and pick this up again somewhere down the line. Maybe Charlie. Maybe Charlie. Might, might even go as far as Telford. We'll see. But we'll pick up this video. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, thumbs down. Any comments are greatly appreciated. Um, like I said, in the future, these will be edited a lot better than this one. Um, but I want to just chronicle things. And if I'm not getting the views and people aren't interested, at least it's there for me. And I'm not really that bothered how it's edited. But I know you guys will be. Um, but thanks for watching anyway. Stick with me. There'll be more, for, more to come from the Blythe story. Um, and I'll pick it up in the future. So hopefully I'll see you for AFC Telford or maybe Charlie. We'll see. Anyway, for now, goodbye.